Hey guys, it's Kara. So, third video of the day. Um, anyway, this is a really important announcement for me. Um, just pretty quick here. I'm finally launching my Etsy shop. So, um, I'm going to be selling all different types of products, um, but I am including cloth menstrual pads, cloth tampons, all that type of stuff, and I am going with no particular design for anything right now. I'm just going to go with whatever I come up with, and eventually I'll find a design that sticks. So, we'll see. Um, I'm going to show just some of the products that I have. Right now I have two pads finished, and I have three essential oil necklace diffusers. They're kind of like the one I'm wearing here, though I'm not selling this one since I've already used it. Um, it's just a cube, uh, and it has, it's on a waxed cotton black string, and it says oils in the middle. Uh, all of them have to have some sort of design kind of carved into there so that the oil has something to seep into and it soaks into the clay. Um, it's just a natural white clay, and it's air-dried. Uh, that's how it works. If it's put into a kiln, then it can't absorb the oils as well. But it's air-dried, therefore it can't get wet or anything like that, and they're not painted. So, the two cloth pads that I have, this is an 11-inch heavy. Um, it is a flannel top, fleece back, and it has a flannel core. It has five layers. All this information is going to be with the listing. And I'll be putting it up either tonight or within the next couple days, so definitely go check it out. I know they're going to go fast, so I guess if you want it, you got to be the first. Um, it's just sewn together with a normal core stitch, and I did kind of a fake serge around the edge, so I didn't turn and top stitch. I just went around the edge with a really wide zigzag stitch twice around, so... Um, this is one of the best holding methods that I've found, just making them on my own. So both of them are made like that, and they have cam snaps. Uh, this is just white. Um, I Right now I don't have an extra snap option available, but I may when I finalize my design. Snaps up just like that. It's kind of an, it's an average width. It's not narrow, but it's not wide, so good to start, I guess. And all my fabrics, just to kind of reiterate this, because I know I introduced the, the idea at an earlier time. All my fabrics are either reused, like repurposed, that type of thing, or they're fabrics that are new, but they've been sitting in a fabric box, and they're just like scraps that couldn't be used for anything else. So, this one actually has a new fabric for the top fabric. It's a polished cotton. Uh, it just has kind of a an owl wing print on here. There's some green in it and it's brown. For this one I use black snaps and again it's just one snap. Regular core attachment there just around the shape of the pad and again it's just uh, like with that fake serge with the wide zigzag stitch. And the back again is just a regular polyester fleece. Sorry I got some threads attached to the back. Um, it looks black, but it's really a dark green. It kind of matches the green that's on the front. <sighs> and I guess that's it for the pads. Oh, and actually this one has a little bit different core. It has three layers of flannel and one layer of cotton terry. And this one is 12 inches long, so it's kind of uh, a heavy, or you can wear it as an overnight. And I can show you what it looks like snapped up. Pretty much the same idea as any cloth pad. This one is a little bit wider than the other, uh, and the wings are bigger. I really like rounded designs, so that's why I picked these for the first ones. I don't have any type of um, absorbency marking or brand marking or anything yet. I might think about that later, at a later point in time. Now the necklaces that I have, I'm going to try to show all three of them at the same time, this might be a little bit difficult. <laughs> anyway, these are the three that I have. So there's this one, it's kind of just a coil. So this one holds a lot of oil really well. And then it's just pressed at the top for the string. That's what the back looks like. And this one is about, actually they're all about three quarters of an inch in diameter. And as I said, it's just a natural white clay, it's air dried, and the cord is waxed cotton. There's this one, just kind of random swirl designs. 
and this one is a teardrop shape. So that's just kind of the intro of my shop so far. I'm really, really excited. Uh, I'm kind of busy with work and school right now, so we'll see how it goes with me keeping up because I have no idea at all how busy it's going to be. So I'll just see how fast things sell. I'll try to have kind of a back stock so I can always add things. And Etsy has a special feature where you can kind of add something but not have it listed yet. So maybe I'll do that and then as things sell, I'll list it because it costs 20 cents per listing. So I don't know. That might be a good idea. So <laughs> if you have any suggestions for other products or anything that you'd want to see on there, go ahead. Uh, I'm also considering cloth tampons, as I mentioned, and I want to bead my own amber necklaces, like these that you can see. So I'll just get the beads, and I want to do all unpolished, uh, and I can get them in various colors and such. So we'll see. Thank you so much for watching, and definitely check out my Etsy shop. It's just Rump Raves, the same as my uh, YouTube name, and that's it. See you next video.